ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしますオーライトリムン、Thank you and welcome to yet another edition of OJFWA Fight TV As usual, this is your host, Johnny Walters here And ladies and gentlemen, this is an action-packed show Wall-to-wall professional wrestling And here we have our first contestant of the evening She is none other than the hardcore Tallarican, Liliana Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you may have seen in the preceding weeks、uh, Liliana has been searching For Moami Amano, of all people. And of course,、uh, from the looks of it, I don't think she's found her yet. Doesn't look like it bothers her too much. But she's a professional. Just because she doesn't show it on the outside, it doesn't mean that it's not boiling up on the inside. The hardcore t a l l e r i c a n Liliana, ready for action against. Whoa! Our local talent here. Actually, I don't want to say local. Looks like this woman、uh, hails from China. We're in Japan, and yes, they are different countries. Oh! Liliana with a nice shot there and a drop kick, sending this,、uh, this woman down. I don't know where she's from. She could just be、um, a Japanese in, a, in Chinese dress here, or literally perhaps from China, much like Amy Chen or Xi Xing. However, we don't know. And quite frankly, it does not matter. Liliana going to town here. Latching on. Nice suplex. Liliana seems to have her mind focused on just one person, and that's m o a m i Amano. After what Amano and her crew did to Liliana and her protege, Michiko Watanabe, Liliana is looking for some payback. And promised Amano that much that she'd be looking for her. Whoa, what a vicious, vicious clutching of the eyes there by Liliana. Talking some trash there, too. Nice forearm. And a bulldog. One thing you got to give Liliana credit very good follow up. Attacking the head there. Now attacking the head with the bulldog, with the forearm. And then with that headlock, that reverse headlock there. Oh, and again with that shot. And again, still going after that head. Oh, now, that, now she's just doing this for fun. Probably letting off some steam. Well, here we go. Liliana going up on that rope there. Trying to, I, I assume that、uh, this young woman here is mostly trying to taunt Liliana with that maneuver. However, she's going to find out very soon she's the wrong woman to taunt there, but what a shot there! Sending Liliana over the top rope. Nicely done. However, like we said, that just makes Liliana angry. Liliana trying to throw this youngster to the ropes here. Whoa, beautiful maneuver there. And a nice follow up drop kick. Maybe Liliana has、uh, underestimated her opponent here. That's a big possibility. And again. However, it looks like this youngster is going for too many of the same moves. A cardinal mistake of younger wrestlers. What's going to happen here? Liliana picks her up. Looks like she's about to place her for a powerbomb, and yes! Nicely done by Liliana, and again, going for that headlock there. However, referee Tommy Thompson calling for that rope break. And again, Liliana with the taunting. Liliana from Long Island, New York. Not the kind of woman you want to mess around with here. Russian leg sweep by the hard guard Talarican. What's going on here? The youngster gaining control. Oh, what a shot to the abdomen. Flipping Liliana over. This youngster seems to have an obsession with those flipping sentons. 
Quite frankly, I don't know what she's getting out of the maneuver. Oh, what a shot. This youngster appearing to want to attack the legs here. Wonder what the strategy is here. Oh, well, I guess we see it. And again, keeping Liliana down. Well, I'm not a big fan of the constant repetition of moves, quite frankly, as I've made very clear. I don't think that's ever a good idea. And I think it's a very, very cardinal mistake made by this, this youngster whose name I do not know. However, it may appear at the moment that she has the advantage over the hardcore Talarican. We saw a moment there, Liliana writhing in pain over that leg. Maybe she's attacking that leg just enough. Oh, nice clothesline by the hardcore Talarican. What you got in mind here? Oh, what a splash. And another one. We almost never see Liliana pull off those kind of maneuvers. And she landed it perfectly. And again, smartly. Going for that head and neck area. Wrenching it. She has very, very smartly maintained an attack. Oh! Liliana hitting referee Tommy Thompson. Got very loose disqualification rules here in OJFWA. Loose does not mean non-existent, by the way. But yes, very loose. Liliana could easily explain away that as, a, uh, as an accident to the committee. Oh, what a shot there. What a nice maneuver there. And let's see. Here we go. Tommy Thompson counts one, two, and three. There we go. Liliana, your winner here. Very nicely done by the Hardcore Gallery. Again, seeing her pull out some moves that, quite frankly, never seen her pull off, or at least uh, at least not on TV. Your winner here, Hardcore Gallery and Liliana. And I assume she's still searching for Mwami Amano. Hopefully we'll have more on that in the days and weeks to come. But right now, we have another match coming up. Another very tough individual. And let's go to that match right now. That very familiar music. The almost Yakuza-like atmosphere. This is, of course, the one, the only, Tiger Miyazawa. Of course, as everybody knows, Tiger Miyazawa had a hell of a battle, a hell of a feud with Brad Harris. And actually, just uh, maybe about a month ago, Tiger Miyazawa, after a match with Kazu, laid in an attack on, on said Kazu after that match. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I bring this up because on episode 28, Kazu and Brad Harris had a nice encounter, nice uh, sportsman-like encounter. Uh, but we could not show you what happened after the match. We have that footage here this week, coming up after the commercial break. Right now. And we'll, we'll of course, you will see the connection between Brad Harris, Kazu, and Tiger Miyazawa very, very shortly. In fact, after the commercial break, after this match. But let's keep our mind focused here on the present. That man you see right in the middle of your screen is none other than the veteran, the wily veteran, Tiger Miyazawa. Youngster, trying to go for the attack. Oh, what a shot by Miyazawa. Nice shoulder block. And a shot. Lots of shots happening. Tiger Miyazawa. Very cagey. Very, very cagey. And he's pretty adept with the kicks, too. You'd think a man of his age, uh, his age being probably um, his late 40s, perhaps. Man of his age, you'd think, would not be so, uh, so flexible. But that is certainly not the case with Tiger Miyazawa, at least not yet. We've got a lot of good wily veterans here in OJFWA. Of course, the top of which, in my mind, of course, being co-founder John McKay. John Copyright McKay. Oh, what a shot. And of course, another being the one, the only, Asanomori. Ooh! But right now, in the very ring here, perhaps the most cagey would have to be Tiger Miyazawa. Landing some stomps and some elbow smashes. 
Kiger Miyazawa almost playing with his opponent. Like a tiger playing with his meme. Miyazawa sending him back to the corner. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? And the referee's still going to count. Miyazawa's got his, very clearly got his feet, to, feet on the ropes there. His opponent, understandably frustrated. And wait a minute. Whirlwind here. Taking Miyazawa down. Oh, and a shot by the youngster. A move that I'm pretty sure will, oh, that will never see Miyazawa do. The youngster taunting his much older opponent, much more experienced opponent. Miyazawa going for that power bomb. Could not get it. His opponent slipped out of it. Whoa, nice Hurricane Rana there. The cover. One. Nope, not even a one count. Ooh. You cannot. You should never underestimate. Ah, oh, see, there we go. Should never underestimate the 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 experience the, or the toughness or the durability of Tiger Miyazawa or what he is willing to do to pull off that victory. Young opponent there. I think uh, his, in, in his inexperience, he tripped over the rope perhaps. Who knows? Miyazawa going to town here, picking his young opponent up. Look at the strength in those legs. Nicely done. And the balance. Very good. Having that blood rush to the head. And then going for that dragon uh, sleeper there. Well, it looks like he was about to go for a back suplex. Miyazawa with the tights. Miyazawa almost pulling that off there. Shock being sent up the spine. Some amateur wrestling experience there. Mizawa sending the youngster to the corner. What's going on here? I don't like the look in his face. Oh, God! What a boot to the face! Miyazawa apparently thinks that's all he has to do. The cover here. Tommy Thompson counts one, two, and wow, three! What a boot to the face! Good God! Well, needless to say, here's your winner, Tiger Miyazawa. Back in, as he always does. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, after the commercial break, that's coming up very soon, you will see the connection between Kazu, Brad Harris, and Tiger Miyazawa. What I was talking about. What happened after their match on episode 28. We'll be back. After this. Ah, remember the good old days? Advertisements of t-shirts that didn't exist? Well, now it does! Go to sports.geocities.jp slash OJFWA Wrestling. Click on the shop button and take a look at all our merchandise such as t-shirts, shot glasses, and more. The OJFWA Shop, in conjunction with Pete and Chris Amusements. Corner of your screen has said Brad Harris versus his opponent, Kazu. Rising star. First, I think with the exception of other guys, too, like Tiger Miyazawa and John McKay. Here he is, Kazu. Kazu is on fire right now. Wait a minute. Nice brain buster. Fishman's brain buster. His finisher. Is he going to go for a pin here? No, Harris slowly makes his way back up. I don't think Harris is in his right mind here. When, what's this? Beautiful power bomb. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, he's snapping it in. He's got that STF again. Will this third time be a charm? Yes, indeed it is. The veteran Kazu is your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, take nothing away from the Iceman Brad Harris. But your winner here is the veteran Kazu. 
What a fantastically exciting match. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you didn't see after the match. The hand of respect extended from Kazu and Brad Harris responding in kind. Brad then going to the back to let the winner celebrate as is appropriate in this situation, of course. However, one man out there to spoil the celebration was again Tiger Miyazawa coming out with that pipe, laying in some vicious shots. But coming right back is Brad Harris, a man who's had his own difficulties with Tiger Miyazawa. Fantastic. Man full of respect is Brad Harris. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We are seeing a, uh, the first match in a while for this man, Shallow. He's been out for a little bit. He had a bit of a, 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 an altercation with another uh, professional wrestler here, uh, one by the name of Caleb Dodd, of all people, laying him out for quite a bit. Of course, the man is back and already challenging. The veteran, Kazu, making his way out to the ring right now. Here he is. The veteran. The man whose STF is influential here in the OJFWA family of promotions. Kazu taking on the young man, former SRW champion, Shallow. Our referee here is Kaori Nakamura. We see them testing each other, throwing out shots. Test of strength here. Neither man budges. Though I'm pretty sure that Kazu let that go. Wait a minute, we have a pinfall attempt. Too soon. Four. Shallow. With a slam, however, Kazu gets right up. Locks in that STF. Again, too early to do really anything. Nice snap suplex. Goes right into that triangle choke. Wild kick by Shallow. Shallow, full of energy. The man whose motto is never quit, never submit. Being taken up into a pile driver position. Nicely done by Kazu. Kazu now. Getting taken out to the outside. Shallow. Almost taunting his more experienced opponent. Nice snapmare there. Oh! Kazu taking control there with the arm. However, Kazu sent to the corner. Both of both of the opponents here, both of the our competitors, missing each other. However, that lock did not miss. Shallow doing a very similar maneuver as well. Ooh, that's got to torque something. To the corner now, and reversed. Shallow, picked up to the top rope. 
Beautiful Hurricane Rana done by Kazu. Go for the pin net. Count for referee Kawaii Nakamura. Only gets a two count. I almost thought Shallow was going to go for his uh, specialty Senta. Sent to the rope snap. Oh, what a nice trip. Nice quickness by Kazu. And goes right to that SDF. Very smartly done. He's just far away from the ropes to be able to, to actually lock it in and keep it in there for a while. Wait a minute. Northern Light Suplex reversed to a DDT. However, Kazu still was the first man to get up there. Ah, now a Northern Light Suplex of his own. Nice. Nicely done. These guys are just doing moves back and forth to each other here. Earlier in the match, Kazu hit that front face lock. And then, of course, we just saw Shallow hit it. And then, of course, previous to that, we just saw the exchange of Northern Light suplexes. Oh, we already got a Fisherman suplex here. Kaori Nakamura. Only a two count. Nice power bomb. And again, only a two count. And again with that Tiger bomb. Whoa! Series of near falls there. Both of these guys are fantastic athletes. Oh, God. Quite frankly, I think Shallow doesn't get enough respect uh, in this company. Not that, uh, oh, good God. Not that, uh, not that every, anybody ever thinks he's bad. Certainly not, but... Uh, Quite frankly, I uh, when I hear them talking in the back, and wait a minute, what a suplex by Kazu. That could be very dangerous. Shallow fighting back. Guy's got a lot of tenacity, as I was trying to say. The guy has a ton of tenacity. And I just think he's, uh, he's, you know, not looked down on, but I don't think, uh, I think he's kind of an underdog here. He can upset anybody. As I said, he had a bit of an altercation with Caleb Dodd last season at the end of uh, season one. Oh wait, we got a cover here. One. No. What a huge victory that would have been if Shallow were to have been able to be defeat Kazu. And again, smartly going for a pin. Nakamura, only a one count. Kazu positioning his opponent. And going for the pin. One, two, and almost, almost three. Kazu with a third pile driver for this match. Shallow struggling right out of that uh that attempt there. Nice back suplex. Kazu just tossing his opponent outside of the ring. However, both of these men have been very sportsmanlike. And that they let their opponents in into the ring. They let him back into the ring. Well, it looks like Shallow almost went for that trademark senton of his. And another neck breaker. Wait a minute. Could this be it? Could this be it? Oh, he hits it! However, Kazu still gets right back up. Sent to the corner. Shallow laying in some shots here. Choking away at the turnbuckle. Quite frankly, I think if Shallow can make that top rope senton, wait a minute! Is this it? No, an elbow drop, but he might just be setting up for it. Can he manage to hit that top rope senton? Wait a minute, Kazu with a pinfall here. One, two, and three. Oh, no, 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 no. Shallow's still in this. Wait a minute. A fourth pile driver. Kazu thinking he's got it in the bag here. Is this the case? Two and no, most. And another Senta. Oh, Fisherman's Brain Buster. Good God. This could be it. Kazu for the pin. One, two, and three. Kazu gets it.
And yes, ladies and gentlemen, that conversation we just saw is about a match that's going to happen next week. It will be Iku making a return. You won't want to miss that. See you next time on Fight TV. Grandos Bonsato Tecno de Operation